Hi everyone, it's day 3 of our honeymoon in Queenstown, New Zealand. We woke up to beautiful blue skies outside our cabin and we were very excited to start our day. We picked up a mince pie and a sausage roll from a local bakery and did some walking around town eventually making our way to the lakefront. The commotion you're hearing is from Argentina winning the World Cup. So yes, the video is a little late. After breakfast, we made our way over to our first stop, the short over jet boat ride. Stay tuned for the onboard video. Here comes the first spin. If you watch closely, you can see my wife's sunglasses fly off her face and how I nearly bounced over the edge and into the water. Throughout the rest of the video, I kept both my hands on the handles in front of us.
The jet boat ride lasted for about 20 minutes and it was well worth the price tag. We even got ourselves a new hairdo. The drive from Shotover River to Wanaka takes a little over an hour without any stops, but be sure to give yourself some extra time to stop and take some photos. We stopped by some spots on Crown Range Road and checked out the famous Cadrona Hotel and the Cadrona Bra Fence. That's pretty interesting. In my opinion, there wasn't really much to see at the Cadrona Hotel. We did stop by the little souvenir shop beside it and they sold some interesting knickknacks. Wanaka is a very chill town, the weather was good, sunny and breezy, and we had some kebabs by the water. If there's one thing you have to know about my wife, it is that she loves all kinds of ships and boats and vessels. This is the TSS Unslow. It is one of the last coal-fired passenger steamships in the world. It was launched in 1912 on this very lake, Lake Wakatipu. Today, we are heading across the lake for Walter Peak Farm, where we'll be having dinner. The cruise will take about 45 minutes to Water Peak, but if you were to make the journey by car, it will take about 6 hours. If you're interested in booking the cruise, it is recommended to check out their operational hours. Because of the age of the vessel, regular maintenance is scheduled every few months. Be sure to stay tuned for our next episode as we'll be heading to Auraki Mount Cook.